Hey there, so today I am fixing the tailgate hinge on my 14 Titan Pro 4X. It had the tailgate assist, which failed and broke. Um, so it's this side. The plastic piece just broke off. I'll show you that in a second. So you have to remove your tailgate. I've also removed the headlight for easier access. Um, some tools you're gonna need. Flathead screwdriver for the strut, a Phillips screwdriver if you're going to take the tail light off, uh, a T50 to remove two bolts here and here, and you're going to need a new part. So the part that actually broke was this plastic piece here, and it would be nice if they sold just the plastic piece, but they sell it as an assembly. Um, I found this for $80 on Amazon, it's not cheap, I'm sure you might be able to find it cheaper. If you do, let me know. Um, don't forget to disconnect your backup camera. And uh, the, the reason I think it failed was this hinge here, it's supposed to rotate freely. Like this just rotates freely. This is actually C solid. So when that didn't move, this plastic cap broke. So I want to replace the whole thing. And you can see in here, there's a strut behind. Um, it attaches up here and down below. So my, my strut was preloaded, so um, because this failed in the halfway position, so I actually took the top off to make it easier to get the bottom off and to remove these struts for like any hatch or gla lift glass struts in a SUV. Just slide your flathead screwdriver on, pull the clip back, and then you just pull the whole thing off. And you can push that back on, and these just push back on. So I'm gonna do my T50 here. I did put uh, penetrating oil. I got on both sides of these bolts. And you can reuse the bolts if you don't strip them. So I find an impact always works better because you can actually push in. You can apply pressure in while you're loosening. That way you don't strip it. And they do have Loctite on them. So I've got to pull this strut off. And that is hard to see. I'm just going to stick the screwdriver down there. You can do it from the bottom as well. So yeah, I can't hold the camera light and screwdriver at the same time, so I can't see it. Let's show you what it looks like from the bottom. Oh, I can't see it that well from the bottom either. I think I'll set the camera down, do it from the top. Basically, you get the picture. So you gotta undo that strut. Well, the new one back in. Push the strut back onto the balls. And that's all there is to it. So, if you can find these cheaper, let me know. Um, also, let me know if you have tried taking the plastic off of the end here and just replacing that. Like in, like I said, in this case, this is C's, so it's, it's better to replace the whole thing. But we'll get this new one on there. And thanks for watching.